Howdy friends and welcome to a video tour of Mother Neff State Park located in the great state of Texas. The original six acres was donated by Isabella Neff in 1921. Additional land donations have been made since, increasing the park size. Mother Neff is one of Texas' oldest state parks. Located 30 minutes southwest of Waco and about 30 minutes northwest of Temple, Texas, is located near the Leon River, near Whitson, Texas. Make sure you stop and enjoy the wildlife you'll see. There are a lot of songbirds. Mother Neff is a great park for family camping with paved roads, mostly flat, crushed granite paths, clean bathrooms, and a couple of playgrounds for the kids. You will see a lot of families with bikes and wagons and kids of all ages. Out by the pond, there is a bird blind and you can see water birds. And the grassland heading that direction is beautiful in the spring when the wildflowers are out. Looking at the campground map, you can see that the cabin is located off Farm to Market Road 236 in the lower left of the map. There you can see the day use area that is closed due to flood damage. The main park road passes by a day use area, the campground loop, a picnic and playground area, and southwestward on Park Loop 14. Here's a big tip for you. If you have a trailer or motorhome of any size, I do not recommend you go down this road to the end because it dead ends where the campground is closed and there is barely any room to turn a car around, much less a trailer or larger vehicle. Don't ask how I know this. It has 20 full hookup campsites. Accessible sites are marked in blue. It also has a four bedroom, two bath cabin for a lodge that has ADA bathroom and an ADA bedroom and can accommodate up to 16 people. There are three and a half miles of trails throughout the park. Trails into the steep creek, the CCC tower, and a cave used by the Tonkawa Indians in the 1800s are just a few of the interesting trails. The Wash Pond Trail goes down rather steeply to a gully that is deeply shaded and fed by a spring. If you can get down there, it is much cooler and you can enjoy the wildlife and the birds that live amongst the trees. Make sure you save strength for climbing back out of this trail. Let's take a look at the camping loop. You will notice there are both back in and pull through sites, and we tried to get videos of all of them, but some of the sites had vehicles or large RVs that totally blocked the view of the site. So you can check on the Texas State Park Reservation System, and they have a picture or two there for the ones we couldn't see. Also, be sure to check out the campsite worksheet in the description of this video, where you can see my notes on the campsites we were able to observe. They have a couple of really cool playgrounds for the kids. Each of the campsites has a concrete pad and a crushed granite picnic area. Most of the time, the two line up. Notice how the campsites are carved into dense vegetation so you get a lot of privacy.
Here is one of the crushed granite paths that goes through and connects bathrooms, playgrounds, etc. Site 14 is long, but no afternoon shade. Site 12 has a big long pull-in and great shade. Site number 11 and 13 were nice, but had no shade. We had some big RVs blocking the view. They had a really nice, clean bathroom, which was nice. As always, be sure to hit like and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my videos. One last thing, be sure to keep your parks clean and please only reserve ADA sites if you have a mobility challenge. This concludes our tour. Thanks for watching and until next time, so long.